Mr. Him and I news before we go into this segment. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little warning. This is our first re pre record that we did in our studio. Uh, we've been in here all night last night and all morning. It seemed like we moved in here and forgot where we live. But uh, it was about three, four, maybe even five o'clock in the morning. Uh, we decided, you know, let's do a quick uh, video on the green screen, check out everything, and uh, let's see how it works. So we actually did an interview with uh, Dennis Fletcher, John Strangis, myself, and uh, Nick with uh, Public Safety Incidents. And, you know, we just decided, you know, hey, let's try it out and see how this thing works. So uh, the interview came out really great. The only downfall that we noticed was the sound. Uh, our sound tech guy, I want to shout out to Adam McQueen. He came in, dropped the sound equipment in, set it up, and he had to bounce. And uh, we really didn't have an engineer on the mixing board keeping everybody's levels right. So we had an unmanned uh, soundboard while we were all at the desk. So uh, we did find out some people's levels was a little bit higher. We did have a heavy breather in the video. We're not going to mention who he was, but uh, we'll let the public figure out if they can find out who it was. But, uh, you know, other than that, I think everything came out great. Uh, like I say, this was a trial test run. Out of the blue, we decided, hey, everybody's here. Let's do this. Let's try it out. You know, so we did. And, uh, well, I want to say thanks to John Strangus, Nick, and also uh, Dennis for coming out and helping us make this happen. And uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more cool people from our community in here at the studio. So... We're going to go ahead and switch over, and uh, we're going to show you the interview by Dennis Fletcher and uh, see about what we have up our sleeve and what is our goals for our community news station here at himandinews.com and enmediaproductions.com. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Dennis Fletcher's uh, video, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, uh, like again, I do want to apologize for the sound. This was our first trial run, so you know, hey, don't kick me out the door yet, you know. So, uh, also, my big dummy self, I was trying to make sure everybody else's microphones were all turned on, but the thing is, well, I got everybody else's turned on but mine. So, you couldn't really hear me, but uh, I was kind of bouncing off between John's microphone and uh, Dennis Fletcher's. But hey, next time I'll make sure my wireless mic is on. So until then, folks, hey, thank you for following him and I news .com. we got a lot of uh, really great ideas we want to share with the community. But until then, go ahead and watch this video by Dennis Fletcher, John Strangis, and uh, Nick and I. And hope Hello, everybody. My name is Dennis Fletcher. Uh, I'm a reporter for him and I news, and I'm here for an exciting announcement, a new development here in the Valley with these people who are uh, involved in its founding the Valley Community News. And we're here to talk a little bit about this. Myself, Dennis Fletcher, I'm a reporter formerly with The Chronicle, now with Hem and I News. I'll let everybody on the panel introduce themselves, starting with Eddie George to my right. Well, what's up, everybody? You know, everybody knows who I am. If you don't, you can Google me. Just Google the crazy guy with lazyeye.com. You'll find all the good stuff about me. And if you want to hear the bad stuff, just talk to the haters, you know. But uh, anyways, uh, got a lot uh, up my sleeve that I want to do for this community. It took us about, uh, good Lord, about 10 years to get this to happen. And we finally here. And a lot of things I want to stress to the community is, you know, we've got a lot of news groups out here on Facebook. Uh, some of them wants to feel that it's competition. I'm here to show you people it's about networking. And that's why I wanted to get everybody together today. Uh, we've got some good people here on, on the show today introducing what we have plans for this community and how we can actually do it as a community and not by a group. It's called networking, it's community news for the community, by the community, not by me. When I was, somebody said, oh, well, we're number one, no. It's we all as a community is number one. That's right. Thank you, Eddie, and now, John, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure thing. My name is John Strangis. I'm a photojournalist, and I've been uh, with uh, Eddie partnered with uh, Hemet News for uh, quite some time now. How long has it been? Uh, 
about six, seven years. Man. Yeah, six, seven years, huh? Been that long. I got to get old. Like it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't mean it. At the beginning, I was a little bit more active in front of the camera doing uh, live reports and so forth and then I went behind the scenes mostly filming uh, on the streets what uh, was going on. You just on. went MIA is what you did. Yeah then that too and there's other story issues at hand like the two weeks that uh, I've been going through that's another issue for another time to discuss however yeah uh, I just go around and I film stuff and uh, I work uh, with uh, him uh, on uh, developing things that happen here with our little community news center that uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, developing uh, into something that possibly will serve the whole county uh that's what's missing out here is the actual a single media less local that only focuses in this area now you have your, your local newspapers and stuff that's one thing but there's no real channel news channel out here and it would be great if we could manage to uh, create something that uh could do that to give the community you know a place where they could watch news uh, not only news but also other shows uh, depending on entertainment who knows what we come come up with thank you for your initial views john and nick would you like to tell us a little bit about who you are and what you bring to the party here my name is nicholas pipenbrink uh been <coughs> doing based stringer work uh basically following uh fire ems when um when the tones drop i go out there and uh film what happens in the city be it with fires or car crashes and such like that Fire and Emergency Medical Services. Yes, sir. Well, um, as your reporter out in the field, I've prepared a couple questions for these gentlemen here, uh, mostly directed at Eddie, but also, John, we want you and Nick to chime in as well. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're, you're, the, you're the picky here tonight. So first of all, we want to know what is it that you want to accomplish with this venture? We want to know how you're going to do it, and we want to know how people that are watching out there in the audience can get involved. So would you like to tackle any of those questions, Eddie? Well, let me get my tackle gear on first. Okay. You know, so let me get suited up. All right, I'm ready. Uh, what I really want to do is, uh, for that question, I want to build something for this community to have as an information highway. You know, uh, we need a platform so our community can not only be aware of, like, the accidents and fire calls that you go out on, uh, some of the crimes that, you know, stuff that you call, because you cover all kinds yeah. of stories. Mm -hmm. and it's not just about the bad happenings in town. We need something to, exactly, we need something to show the community the good and the bad. You know, what's happening next week? You know, uh, what school games are going to be playing? Who's having the special deals in town? Business promotions. Uh, you know, if somebody in the community has a lost pet, it's an information place where people can go to help find their pets. Even not only your pets, but if you have a loved one that's lost. You know, we've got people that go missing all the time. We're here as a platform, you know, to allow people to get help from the community. So this is going to be a tool for people to better utilize the community that they may not be fully aware of exactly. all the resources. Yeah. If you want to know what's happening, the police helicopters are up. These guys are out there to show you what's going on. You know, a lot of times now, since we know the, the police has went encrypted, that kind of limits these guys. And well, for now. For now. For now, exactly. Uh, till the steps come up that we can get the radios, which we're working on that, but you know, still the, the community depends on myself and these guys to know what's happening. When that helicopter's up, they want to know, do I need to lock my doors or do I need to go out and help look for somebody, you know, right. or do I need to keep my eyes open, what is going on? And nine times out of ten, when people hear sirens going down the road, or they see police running code three, or they see the helicopter flying in circles, everybody the first thing they do is go to the Hemant news page or go to public safety incidents or go to EM Media's news source, you know, and try to find out, okay, if he don't have something on their page, maybe he does, or but maybe him and News. Again, one place person. can't cover everything. We can't cover know. everything, but, you know, our slogan for PSI is see something, say see something. something. Right. It's not just up to us as, you know, the stringers, the reporters, to put stuff out that's happening in our valley. It it can be if you're on one of our Facebook pages or whatever and you see something happening, if it's safe to do so, go ahead and put it, film it and put it on the page, submit it to the page to be approved and 
one of our administrators or moderators will most likely approve it and from there the news can spread because there's only so many of us and that this valley is a lot to cover right, and, more eyes out there. and nick what's what would the uh, url be for submitting a just story go to, to you just go to public safety incidents become public a member incidents. request to become a man member and once approved you can um submit videos to be approved and most likely within 10 to 15 minutes it can be approved and it'll be on the on the site you know sometimes facebook if we're in an area where we don't have good reception it, it takes a little bit for it to come up on our page on our phone so we can approve it but it will be approved if it's not something that is endangering the lives of the police of police officers if it's something where they you know SWAT teams out or something like that we're not going to put that up because somebody else could be watching and that could endanger endanger those officers who are doing that critical mission because yeah, it could show their location exactly the barricade we don't want to give out right. the officer uh, locations and another thing like he was saying too you know about submitting a lot of times too your post might be or will be seen by one of their admins or one of our admins and it might not be approved but it tells us, it alerts us, hey, there's something What's going happening? on over there, and we actually will respond and go check it out, and then we'll get you the detailed information as far as what's happened, because all of us have the relationship with our local PD that we communicate with them, and they'll give us details. It might not be right then and there, but we will get you the details, and then we will get it out to the public. And to see something, say something, is the best motto that we can actually tell people, because, you know, especially now since the police radios are encrypted you know we can't hear all the calls anymore so you know we have to depend on the community to let us know what they see that we don't see and then we can go check it out and get the information um, another thing about to see something say something is you know a lot of people always complain i uh, know you probably have a lot of public safety incidents uh, people complain about, well, why ask a question what's going on over here? If you don't know, don't post it. Well, I recommend people, if you see something, you don't know what's going on, post on there, ask us what's going on. Hey, we see a lot of cops over here, what's going on? That tells us we need to get a, a reporter out there. If I can't get out there, I'll call John. If John can, I call Nick, or Nick, vice versa. Call, we'll get somebody out there, even though it's not with him at news. You know, they're another group. I don't look at public safety incidents as a competition. I look at it as, as another team out there getting sources for information that can be networked. The only important part is getting the story at the end to the public. Yeah. That's what's important. Part. Exactly. It's all of us are out there to do one thing, and that's inform the public. It's not a competition. Who gets the story first? It's about all of us out there letting the public know what's going on. And that's why I want this studio to be a gateway for our public, be a gateway for public safety incidents, be a gateway for any other news source out there that's con you know, getting content, can come here, put out their stories, we, ladder, we put the stories out, we share their stuff, or they share our stuff. It, it's networking together to inform our community. You'll see a lot of... Um posts between the groups that are all the same because right. not everybody has the same followers right and so we'll share in between groups you know you know depending on who it is um but then there's things like i've i've gotten questions on psi um well there's a bunch of fire trucks and ambulances on such and such street what's going on that would tip me off like what eddie says about Good sending somebody out to go check on a police incident, I can turn on my radio and listen to what's going on in the vicinity of that area, right. and I, I can get information and then put that information out on the page. Also, if we don't get you the information right away, if it's a significant incident, San Jacinto Police Department, Hemet Police Department, I'm sure you do, you put out um you know the. Uh, press releases for yeah. for other oh yeah 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 for yeah, all agencies um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put, we'll put out a press release when we get it and that that if we can't get you any information that's going to give you the information that they have at the time 
that's pertinent to what happened. So you're really illustrating what Eddie mentioned about the information highway. A highway has traffic traveling in both directions. That's right. The news center here is going to be sending news out, but to send the news out, sometimes it's the public that alerts you to that right. news. Would you like to elaborate a little more on the information? Yeah, highway, I definitely Eddie? do. The best way I can actually tell the public is you, the public, depend on us to find out what's going on, but we depend on you to help us find out where it's at so we can go to it. So they're part of the team. Exactly. Everybody. That's why I call it community news for the community, powered by the community. Because it's all of us together, you know. It's yeah. I wanted to design Hemet News not to be just news. I wanted to be a page to help our community look out for each other, not at each other. You know, uh, we help people. You know, if somebody's down, they don't have no food, or their house was burned down, they have a death in their family, or they got you know somebody got killed in an accident. You know, we try to do fundraisers, uh, you know, help them be able to, you know, get what they need done. Like, for instance, we had, uh, especially when the COVID, you know, hit, the pandemic. Yeah. You know, I started thinking of our senior citizens. You know, a lot of these seniors can't get out and get shopping done or whatever. Or so lost their ID. Exactly. So what do we do? We design a thing called Adopt a Senior Citizen. And in that group page, what we do is, it, there's a senior citizen needs help. Uh, like there's a few of them that we helped out. Then she just did not want to risk going to the store and get COVID. She's like 80 years old. Mm -hmm. So therefore, what we do, she you know goes on the page or hits us up and say, hey, I'm a senior citizen. I need this, this, and this, and this. Can somebody help me pick it up? Somebody from the community or herself would go get it for them and deliver it to them. It's helping each other. It's that's what I say. Looking out for your neighbors yep. and not at your neighbors. We got when another somebody's big down, lift them up, you know? Yeah, we, we got another big problem uh, coming nationally, which is uh, people not being able to pay their mortgage and their rent. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to be looking at a lot of needs in those areas for this community as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be programs uh, that's going to be listed. Uh, we'll We'll get the sources and try sure. to put those and out on our page. I mean, yeah. I don't have the money to go help somebody pay their rent. No, you but know, maybe but the state of California does. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. So, Eddie, uh, another one of my questions here on my reporter's uh, checklist here is, uh, what kind of things are you going to be doing at this center? Do you have a, do you have some plans for specific activities that take place here at the center? Well, here at the studio, at the I studio? want to, you know, I basically I designed this studio to be a studio to where it's for the community, not just for me. Uh, anybody in the community that's probably, you know, had an idea that they want to start their own segment of a show, mm -hmm. if it's cooking or a how to do this or, or whatever entrepreneur that they want to have, I will give them time here at the studio to come in, use our facility to be able to shoot their own show, and then we air it on our and only for a couple hundred dollars an hour? No, uh, uh, let them do it for free. Holy mackerel, did you hear that, folks? Free, this is a this is a good deal. Yeah, because it's this station yeah. is here for the community, not just for me, not just for John, or not just for Robert, or Robert and Nick. Uh, it's for everybody to be able to come in, shoot their content, and if it's a content that we see it's feasible to be aired to the public, we'll put them in our timeline on our live broadcast. We're going to be having a staff here. My goal is to have somebody manned here at the station 24-7. So there's somebody here at night if content comes in or these guys are out on an accident scene or something like that. Uh, some of these guys' live streams, they can, we can actually pull their live streams from the streets and put in our broadcast here at the station. And uh, we can do that nationwide. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to be networking with uh, other cities. Uh, we got like Eddie Neary with Beaumont News Source. He covers the Beaumont area. Uh, we got, uh, uh, I know he's going to kick my butt. His name's Ted. I, I, that's all I'm going to say because if I. Manning? No, he's with. <laughs> Ted's going to kill me. Um, He's with uh, Menifee Now News. Oh, Menifee Now. And he does a great job out sure. there, so we'll be bringing in his content from mm -hmm. Menifee. And then, of course, John, you know, he goes all over God's creation to get stories. So you know, he's you our never free know agent. what he's going to bring. Yeah, John's the free agent. You never know where he's going to pop up at. Exactly. Right. He's 
like a box of chocolates. You never know what <laughs> you're going to get. Someone called me a machine one time. When I went to Trona, actually, three days we had no sleep, constantly on the earthquake. Right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, this, my goal, what I want to do have here is, you know, something that our community can use. Also, you know, Lieutenant Dixon, when him and the police department came here to check out the studio, he was very impressed. And I told Lieutenant Dixon that I want him and the police department to be able to utilize this as a tool for them when they, you know, want to put out public service announcements. Uh, he said they've been wanting to start doing like a monthly video uh, to put out to the public. Uh, I told him you're more than welcome to come here, use our cameras, use our green screen, we'll produce for you, we'll do it all, put it out, and then put it to the public. And we want to be able to have the studio to where we can have our local police departments, our fire departments, uh, who else we got, our CHP. School board. School boards, the city council, chamber of commerce. Service all organizations. All those people, yeah, can actually come here. We can do like, you know, set them in a, a broadcast schedule where we can do like a 30 minute live stream with them. Yeah. And the public can actually sit here and ask the police department questions and they can answer it. Same thing with the commerce, the chamber of it, commerce, mm -hmm. the city. The It'll be a boards. great thing to happen during it with COVID and exactly. and still closures because of COVID that people can still interact and everything because yeah. I, I still believe some of the city council things are closed and they're doing live streaming on I them. think so yeah, yeah, yeah. so well, I think yeah. now well him at city was having open people started coming in but now we have the second the thing one around yeah so I don't know what new limitations they're gonna do on that. That. It's an easier way to have a closed, controlled environment. Right. But at least with him, it you can look up uh, the uh, the recorded uh, uh, yeah, video recording right. later on with, on with San Jacinto. That's sort of up in the air as to how to do that later on. So, they need so maybe we can help them with that. Right. Okay. Now um, uh, I've heard about a lot of adults of organizations here, police and fire. What about the kids? What uh, what can this center do for kids in this valley? Right now, nothing. But there is, we are working with a plan right now. It's not in action yet. It's going to be in the near future. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually networking with Cops for Kids. Cops for Kids. And uh, Cops for Kids is an organization that uh, it's free to the kids. And what they do is they come in, they have an academy at the Cops for Kids location and they actually teach the kids vocational mm -hmm. and one of the vocationals will be if any of the kids are interested in doing anything that we do in media production editing producing uh, lighting sound producing printing, printing uh, we have several different things that they'll do and they can actually come to us and we'll actually give them hands-on experience on doing news production, shooting cameras, how to edit, how to interview people. We will actually give the kids a segment to where they can be where we're at hosting the news. Sure. So it's going to be ran by the kids. So that'll be an extension the of this program. Right. Kids. So that's something right now. It's not been uh, activated yet, but uh, Cops for Kids are doing a lot of paperwork right now to get everything set up, all the waivers, liabilities. There's like a stack of papers like this that they have to fill out. So once that is completed, him and News will be networking with Cops for Kids and helping give their students uh, Sounds like potential for the high schools too in this year. It, it could range from high schools to elementary kids up to college kids. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, anybody that wants to do hands-on that don't want to go through Cops for Kids, they have to be 18 years or older, and then they can come in and, you know, work through as a volunteer through him at iNews or Ian Media Productions. So we'll have a regular volunteer Right. Program. Anybody can be a part of this. Uh, you know, all of us are volunteers. We all go out here and do all this work for nothing. We don't get paid. Uh, the only payments that I get is when I do advertisements for businesses, which all news has advertisements. Sure, of course, and I'm sure. a promoter. That's what I do. I promote good stuff and I promote bad stuff as far as accidents. And I let you know what's happening. If I see talent, I promote talent. I promote businesses. What's happening in the town? You know, I do it all. Well, you have a lot of expensive equipment in this room, and, and it does. I it mean, takes that to produce a show. It does. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just go get a job? Well, you know, when you do a 
You're an a, you, you were an AMR. Oh, uh, no, I was. I the morning rant to you. You're, we're going to start this. Okay. Oh um, you were a paramedic or was a paramedic? I, 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 I was I mean, on. I was in EMS on the East Coast. Right. Okay. So you do a job that you enjoy doing, right? I don't do it anymore. <laughs> but you, when you go get a job, are you going to look for a job that you enjoy doing, or are you going to go find a job that you hate doing? I would do something that I enjoy doing because it's not right. a job. And that's what we do. As this is our job, I picked this career because it's something what do you I think love doing. Jesus. Oh my. And how do I make my money? I advertise businesses, and you know I also offer services. Me and John has opened up a company called EM Media Productions, and what EM Media Production does is we have a full staff that does producing. Uh, mm -hmm. If people want to, if you know filmmakers, they want to shoot a film. We have the capability of doing that. We have the equipment, we have the staff, we have lighting techs, we have sound techs, we've got directors, producers, everything. If somebody wants a commercial made, we do it. If somebody, especially right now, COVID-19 is going around, you know, gatherings, you know, like for instance. Live streams. Live streams, exactly. Like for instance, uh, former Mayor Russ Utz tagged me in a post. There was a lady, I uh, think, in Menifee or Marina Valley, they had a death in the family. There was a lot of people out of town, out of state that could not come. There was a lot of sick and shut-ins because of the COVID that couldn't come. They wanted to be able to see the, the memorial service, so they were asking, is there a live streaming service? Russ tagged me in it. I contacted them. Uh, EM Media Productions went out, and we live streamed the, the service, and all the people were able to go to the platform and watch it. That's wonderful. So, and that's yeah. the service that we charge for it. Okay, now let's move ahead with, uh, I got another question here for you, Eddie. This guy's full of questions. We talked uh, about educating and training the youth. What about the adults? There are people that uh, are adults that don't have jobs or would like to make a career change or would just like to learn something interesting. Uh, is there going to be a place for them in the center here? Right here, all you got to do is come and knock on my door. So are we going to offer some kind of programming in our programming schedule yes, for that? Yes, we would definitely be more than happy to give anybody hands-on experience. Um, I mean, you just let us know what you're interested in because, you know, you know, you might come in and start training with us. I mean, yeah, I may be training my competition for later, but I'm used to doing that that's over the so many times. That's the American way. But, you know, yeah, people come in, they, you know, they may, you know, get the hands-on experience and then they like what we have to offer and they become part of our team. So. And isn't it going to be part of the rich uh, programming format that you'll have classes on things of interest that will be a, something aimed at adults that will be something in the future we'll say it could become like a public yeah. broadcast well, we've already talked now. to people that are interested we'll in into your classes show. on creative writing yeah. and psychology i won't be teaching that class because i can't write worth a flip but i can video and show you what's going and on and not the psychology class for me <laughs> no 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 how can the people that are watching this and other people out in the public get involved in this effort? What can they do if they want to see this succeed? How can they help you? There's a lot of ways they can help us. They can actually join our team. Okay. You know, volunteer with us, help us make this happen. Because, you know, I can't do it by myself. I can't do it just by me, John, and, you know, public safety incidents. It's got to be our whole community. Right. And, uh, you know, we need help from everybody it's to help each effort. other. You know, we need help to help you. Right. And uh, as far as, you know, the equipment, yes, this this equipment is very expensive. And what we do, I mean, just like one, you know, we need right now just to fully, really run a good studio and plus have cameras to send out with a reporter because we want to do like school, uh, school football games, baseball games, softball games, basketball games. You know, our local schools ain't getting covered. You know, a lot of people can't go to the games, but they can watch it live. Right. And we need that equipment to be able to send a cameraman out there. I got Cal Ray. Uh, he was with the Valley Chronicle. You remember he was, Cal? He was an excellent sportsman. And 
he does sports really good. Now we got another guy, uh, shout out to Juan, I can't remember his last name, but Juan was li uh, watching one of our live streams and he's like, hey, you know, I'm into sports, he wants to be a sports reporter. Great. Now think about this, how many schools do we have out here in this valley, in this community? that him and news would be covering. I got two sports people right now. We got like three, four, five schools five, out there. Five or just at the high school. Five right? or so six. I need a sports yeah. reporter to cover each school because a lot of times these schools has got something going on at the same time. Right. We can't send one person to all these games. No. So we need more help with that. We need more cameras. So we're we looking at five schools. We need five cameras to send out. These cameras run right now about, they're normally the cameras that we want to use is the Sony PMW 3000s. They normally run about nine to ten thousand uh, yeah. dollars a camera, but we can get them on eBay for around three to four thousand dollars. Sometimes we're lucky and get them for two thousand. Just depends on who's selling and upgrading. We catch it on eBay for a deal. You know that's a lot of money coming out of our pockets, and a lot of times we don't have that money. So we, you know, we depend on if people want to make donations to us to be able to buy that. We need lighting equipment. We only, right now, we've got this huge studio with only two LED lights. You know, we need about 10 to 20 lights to do a fully functional studio, but we're doing the best we can with what we've got. So how can somebody make a donation? It could be a small donation or a large donation, but if they want to make a donation, what do they have? A donation of equipment. It what do they actually have to do? Be monetary, do they yeah. call you, Eddie? Do they send Energy a check someplace? How do you want them to? Well, they, uh, if they basically, if they just want to message me on Facebook or they can email yeah. me at sure. ourcommunitytv at gmail.com, which we'll just put it right here on the screen, or uh, they can actually uh, donate by Venmo. Uh, they can find us on Venmo. Uh, it's at him and I news, okay. all one word. And they can donate on Venmo. Uh, you can also donate on Zelle by uh, emailing it using our email address, ourcommunitytv at gmail.com, and it will send a deposit to us, whatever they want to give. Or if there's anybody out there that has equipment that they think that we can use, they don't use it anymore, they can donate it as well to the studio. We can use that, special lights, cameras. You know, it can't be a Mickey Mouse camera. It's got to be, you know, something that's usable to match our broadcasting system. But if they have an idea, contact you Just and contact you'll, you'll talk. Well, there you go, folks. For people who don't want to suddenly become a reporter or run around the high school fields at night and you want to be part of this, you can donate something. I'm sure no, no donation is too small to help the organization. Said, every, you know, they always say every penny counts. Every, and it does, too. Every penny counts. And for people who are interested in getting involved in the TV station and have a programming idea, they should contact you or me, and we can talk to them about uh, what that what involves that. But in my discussions with people in the community that were interested in having a program, it kind of comes down to a, a half an hour a week. So you're looking at a 30-minute slot with one of us uh, assisting you to put the program on. Uh, and nothing is alive, so we can edit it and fix any mistakes. Yeah, everything made. will be pre-recorded. So you're safe. Now, the right. only lives that we'll be doing is like, for instance, uh, we're doing a live stream with the police department, CHP, or the fire department, where we're trying to open a gateway between the the police and the community, to where they can actually ask questions and stuff mm -hmm. like that, question and answer with our PD. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Lieutenant Dixon, and they're thinking about how to do that and what to put out, you know, a program. Uh, we're also giving all the fire departments and CHP that same offer that, you know, they can utilize. Uh, same thing with the Chamber of Commerce and our city councils, both him and San Jacinto. Okay. And wrapping up, Eddie, do you want to give uh, a basic contact information, which I'm sure will appear on the screen, but where we're located or how to reach us? Well, right now, we're not actually putting out the location yet okay. where we're at because we do have a lot of haters that you well, know, we're we'll still vandalize. Building. And uh, we're building it out, too, yeah, so, so it's not open to the public. Exactly. Right now, it's not, it's, you know, it's basically, well, how should I say it? Uh, it's not open to business yet, yeah, but it will be there. It's soon. invitation it only. Yeah, yeah, it's invitation. That's even better, invitation only. And it's physical, so it's in development physically. Right. So can't have visitors yet. Folks, well, like an in and out thing. They can contact you, know. you through Hammond I News. Yeah, they can contact me. They can either you know message me on Facebook, uh, use the profile where you see the news desk behind me, or you can email me at ourcommunitytv at gmail.com.
Great. Nick, do you have any other uh, final comments that you'd like to make the uh, venture here? Well, this is meant for me. Well, I can't help you. you you're so good looking. I wasn't drinking my coffee. I always spit it out. Oh, my God. Great, man. Um, just want to say <clears throat> I'm not... I'm just one of the people from public safety incidents. I'm not the creator. I'm, I just happened to be here, kind of hanging out, and uh, got uh, got asked to do this. So I said, yeah. Um, but there's three of us uh, that are really involved, and um, Robert Carter um, and Tim. I sorry, Tim. I can't. Friends. Frizzy, frizzy, frizzy. It's Italian. It's a, uh, yeah. I just uh, call him Tim. <laughs> yeah, Tim. Hey, Tim, what's up? Tim. Um, they're the ones who started it. I just kind of fell into it. But, uh, you know, if, like I said before, if you see something, say something. Just about uh, anything in the valley. If, if it's something good going on, too, it doesn't always have to be bad. No, I'm you glad know. you said that. You know, it, it's good news is always good, good news is always good. Publish. I mean, you know, we're showing you the car crashes and the fires. You know, it, it's horrible when you know somebody's house burns down, but you know, also show the good things the police department, fire department, and EMS do in our in our valley. You know, that's always welcome. Um, and just if you see anything anywhere of somebody doing a good deed for another person. Uh, if I see that on a post that needs to be approved, I will immediately, immediately approve that post. Um, it it doesn't always have to be the bad stuff that we're showing. That's right. And a little bit about public safety incidents. You know, uh, Robert Carter is the founder of yes. it, and then Timothy came in, and then you. Yeah. And uh, what is your goal? as public safety incidents for the community? Basically, our goal is to let our members um, know what's going on in the community. That's, that's basically the whole thing, is if we see something, we say something. Um, it, 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 I keep saying it, but that's all we're really doing is, you know, not everybody has the time to listen to the radio all day long, has the the fundage to pay for gas and repairs on the car and everything else and some of the extra equipment that we have to um, go around and you know some people call us ambulance chasers or whatever we don't I don't chase ambulances I, no we're I, there before they get there. we're usually <laughs> there before they get there um, we try to beat them there um, but we it's news that's what we're putting out there you know some people on some of the posts will say oh well that's exciting well, to somebody it might be. What if down the street from somebody, somebody's car goes through your neighbor in your neighbor's yard? Doesn't who knows what the yard is? Neighbors helping neighbors. You know, hey, I know somebody who can fix your fence, or hey, I, I know I know somebody who can fix your house if a car hits your house. Um, uh, basically, that's it. There's networking sources yeah. that you have. In them. Yeah. You know what's funny? John, tell us uh, your final thoughts here. Oh, okay, my final thoughts. Report. Well, first of all, like I was, was about to tell you, you know what's funny about the ambulance chaser thing? I don't know where the term came from or something. Or there's people that invented it actually believe that the people that do what I do, they're chasing ambulances. Because I tell you, if I was really chasing ambulances, good luck in getting one story. Right, because half of them are good medical luck. calls. Uh -huh, so you're not really chasing ambulances. That doesn't even make sense. We're police chasers. We <laughs> chase the police. Even if you chase we the used police, you get no stories because you go into the domestic dispute. Then you go into the stupid call on the street. Then the, the guy put, put, and then you get, they start getting like, wait, what? That car's been following us for the pet. You know, you could get into some issues. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's not uh, really something. That's, that's why I happen. chase him with a drone in the air. I find him quicker. <laughs> Unless he gets taken out by an owl. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, so, so well, John, yeah. what, what exciting things are you going to bring to the party here? What is exciting? Your, what are your plans? My uh, things that I bring could be either exciting or <laughs> how you say someone's boo-hoo is another's ha-ha. 
<laughs> so I wouldn't really go there. What I film is mostly uh, death and destruction. And it is, like he said, it would be a nice thing to have some feel-good stories from time to time. But I don't know if it's just that there's too many tragedies and not enough, enough good stuff going on. There's a lot of good stuff, but it just doesn't always it happen. Doesn't, it doesn't come. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, because if the good deed is happening here and the bad one is happening here, People would prefer to, you know, focus on the bad one and leave right. the, the good one goes, you know, unless the, someone well, We want the out. good stuff, too, folks, so please send those stories in. Yeah. And and I'm going to throw, yeah. the, not that any of this was rehearsed, because it wasn't, but I'm going to throw a little bit of a zinger at you all now. Uh. Uh, see how the uh, center would handle it. A couple days ago, we had a slightly over 3.0 earthquake hit this area uh, a mm -hmm. few miles away. Was, yeah, uh, the, the what, epicenter what, was right over near your what, house. I was telling yeah, you the yeah, other day. So yeah. how, would the, uh, away. how would the center, if we were all up and running and everything, running on all eight cylinders, you know, what would we do with something like an incident like that? Like that? If there was an earthquake yeah. here? Well, there was. So well, you know, how would just we a random it? question, if there was, a, say, a 4.0 earthquake in this place. Yeah, or even a bigger one, like a 4.0. I'd get out of the building. Well, but... To, to be smart, but I. How big are we talking? Yeah, yeah. How big are we talking? Well, we had the 3.0. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me go to the worst scenario. Everybody was talking about that. You got the, the San Jacinto fault line right here. The end of it, basically, it goes from Alaska all the way down to San Andreas and it ends up here, right. which is a kind of like it acts like a shock absorber. So if there was one big enough that happens to strike right there, oh, look at the last one that happened. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, you run out. It's a pretty tall run, you know, as it falls on you. <laughs> But there might be some news coverage. Well, the, the, yeah, I'll be running with the camera in my hand like this. Like I really do. We're going to run out you know. with our cameras. If, yeah. if, if that's the case, um, then I'll, I'll throw a plug out there. Um, I'm a ham radio operator. Uh, okay. I never that's got my license on that. I never. I think I should talk to people on it, but I don't know. Should I get it? Should I not? I'm part of a group called Aries, Amateur Radio Emergency Services. If yeah, that were to happen, um, I have the capabilities in my vehicle. Um, and I would deploy myself to where I'm told to go, and we would um, coordinate with um, local fire. Um, we'd have our director go to the emergency operations center for Hemet, and get, we'd do what we can to help PD and the fire department and AMR get their calls out, because who knows if their system is going to go down. Um, but if there are any ham radio re operators that are watching and you want to be involved in something more than just talking on the air, um, look up um, Diamond Valley Aries on, uh, on the internet and it'll walk you through. We're part of the orange section. Wa it'll walk you through signing up. And how do you spell Aries? A-R-E-S. A-R-E-S. Checking if I have my phone on me to check the earthquake map to see what's going on. And another thing, too, as far as what the studio can do, uh, you know, we this is a pretty big area. You know, Aries wants to use this as a command center, you know, and then that we way they be. have public oh, yeah. access straight to the community. Yeah. What can the studio do? It can alert you after the little earthquake comes. We could tell everyone, hey, you better run for the hills <laughs> because the big one is coming in <laughs> <Right>. 10 minutes. <laughs> You know, well, I've been involved at in the community center here in uh, San Jacinto uh, in uh, presentations to the public on uh, disaster preparedness, what to do to get ready for disaster. And I could see us putting on some of that programming yeah, for a broader audience than just the 40 people we had sitting in the community oh, that'd be very center useful. last That'd be year. very, very useful. Oh, yeah. So we can help with that. And that's another thing, too. I would love to coordinate CERT with our CERT? studio yeah. because CERT, uh, a lot of people, if you don't know what CERT is, it's not the candy that you throw in your mouth and <laughs> you know, smell better. You know, it's CERT stands for Community Emergency Response Team, and it's a, it's a program that basically is volunteers in the community that teaches you how to look out for yourself and then look out for your neighbors, you know? Right. And they, CERT is a great team with our local fire departments. They assist our fire departments in search and rescues. Uh, CERT also, you know, helps doing, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the fire training. department also gives yeah, out yeah, training. Training. Yeah. training from time to time. As far as what, what to do in earthquakes, right. what to do in floods, what to do in tornadoes or fires. But you don't have that yeah. out here. What Aries do does communications shoot. for certain. Yeah, 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 yeah Aries is. And uh, right, uh, I know when I was uh, actively involved with CERT, they were very focused on the 
senior uh, parks because they're one of the last groups on the priority list to be contacted in, in, uh, in case of a major earthquake. So they need to be <laughs> <That's> prepared. <laughs> they need to be more self-sufficient. So Is there's a lot of training group? that needs yeah. to be done. There, in that there, you know, CERT actually is a good organization that does give you hands-on training on what Absolutely. to do in an emergency. Yeah. Free, free class from Riverside with a backpack with all of the emergency Is it every year or they do it yearly or something? I don't know what they're uh, They do it quarterly they do it when they quarter. do it. Every quarter. And it's a little bit dark right now, but actually this place would be a great place to teach, teach a CERT class. Right now they teach it at Fire Station 4. Fire Station 4? Yeah. That's Fire Station where 4? they teach it right okay. now. That's mm -hmm. great. So we'll make sure we keep that information coming. So Eddie, uh, just to wrap this up, do you have any last words before we turn the camera off? Yeah, somebody bring me something to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> Free food. Free food. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, I just want to thank everybody that's been involved in making this happen. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the El Toro Markets, Jimbo and Billy. Uh, they've been a big help to us. Uh, shout out to El Zarapi, Boys Burgers. They've been a big help to us. Big Daddy Cheese Steaks over on Lavenland State. Uh, I mean, there's so many people I have uh, just been so many supporters I can't even mention everybody's names but you guys know who you are you know I couldn't do this by myself if it wasn't you know I, for the help that I've got from the community help that I got from John you know the support that we get from you know public safety incidents the great job you and Tim and uh, Robert does you know it's about I just want to build something out here for everybody to network not to be a competition let's work together let's build an empire for a community to have a new source to know what the heck's going on around here you know yeah uh, something for somebody to come in you know host their own shows if you want to have your own cooking show or if you want to do how to do knitting or how to do this or plant <laughs> or if you want to have yeah. your own Jerry Springer show or how to do <laughs> nice one. I'll host you that know, one I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll sit in on that one I'll be uh, Steve definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I want yeah there you Steve. go <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. you know oh that would be wonderful I, give me an idea already I'm setting that up huh? you know, the Hemet Jerry Springer show yeah the Hemet Valley rag mag is what we're going to call well it. it's a spin-off you know, you know now I can't use that name because you said it yeah, yeah, instead of Jerry, Jerry, uh -huh. it's going to be Johnny, Johnny. Yeah, I mean, something like that, but trust me, it's going to be good. I, I ain't going to pick that one out. Well, yeah. speaking of entertainment, we have a couple of live theaters, and we have, uh, you know, derbies with uh, comedians, and so there's a lot of entertainment yeah, we news comedy. we could be covering. Yeah, excuse me, it's been a long day working on this thing. You know, comedy, you know, entertainment, uh, you know, if you have a talent, or you know, bring it to the table. And if you have any ideas of a content that we can put on the live stream, I've got so much room. We you can even have host MMA in here. There you go. <laughs> 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 there. Fight every night. Get some guys off the street. Yeah. Like, you know. We have so much airtime available for the public that we can put a lot of content on our broadcast schedule. You know, if anybody wants to do their own news segments on what's happening in the valley or what's the upcoming events or or just a talk show or a reality show, whatever they want. The, the possibilities are unlimited. Here, sure. What we can do with, with the setting that we have. Here. And every organization out there, whether you're a library support organization or a service organization, like the Rotary Club, the Elks, the Lions, uh, what's the one you belong to? The Katie? Moose Lodge. Yeah, the, the Moose president Lodge. Moose. Yeah, he's the vice president of Moose Lodge. So if you want to be a moose, you, wanna, you definitely want to know Eddie. We have good <laughs> moose burger now. <laughs> they, we sell tacos. They don't kill moose. But uh, any service organizations out there, we'd love to hear from you and see if we could set you up with some time to uh, t recruit and talk about what you're doing for the community. That's so is that a wrap, Eddie? You know, you couldn't have said it no better, Dennis. Okay, folks, it's a wrap, and we hope to see you down here at some point when we open up. And just remember, it's an information highway. The news goes both ways. We need you. Just don't a cross lot the streams. More than you need us. Where they watch the, the 80s movies. And get yeah, don't don't cross the streams. <laughs> <laughs> don't cross the street. So I do want to say uh, thank you, Nick, for what you and Robert and Tim do. No problem. And John, you do a really great job out there covering the news, not just here in the valley, but all over the IE in LA. Oh well, yeah, well yeah, when I go there, when before the pandemic started, I was going there a lot. Now I'm doing it everything for free practically myself because yeah, if I fully sells it. 
We're, yeah, well, that's know. happening to a lot of the people out in our audience, too. They're struggling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We oh, want to help yeah. make the life a little bit better for you through some of the skills that we'll be providing. Down. See, so now I'm more around here and getting the Hemant News thing done. See? And then right. we'll be having the Ian Media Productions, which is going to be a big part of this valley, doing productions, mm -hmm. commercials, editing, live streaming services. Uh, another thing that people can actually do through Ian Media Productions is you can actually bring your pets, you can bring your kids, yourself. You can actually come down, and uh, especially photographers, they can come down here and do photo shoots, video shoots, music Bingo. videos. Uh, we can chroma key. You know, we can. You know, if you notice, our floor here is green, our back wall is green, so we can actually set your pet or your your child, lay them, you know, on the green, and do all kind of different poses, put backgrounds, foregrounds. Put them on the beach. I could put anyway. you on the moon if you want. I like I just that. You, you I like know, one that. thing I forgot to mention to you the other day was the photography area. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Yeah. So we offer all that. You know, editing. You know. We got Sarah Petrano, who is a really Sarah's great wonderful. photographer out yeah. here. Uh, Sarah is more than welcome to come out here and use our green screen. She can bring her customers in. She can just set a schedule appointment time. We'll put her in the schedule, and then they can come here and do their photo shoots. Oh, I hope they will. She's wonderful. Uh, yeah. She does a really great job. People need a photographer. Or, you know, people, too, that need models for different types of shots or videos, you can actually get models through her. She's also a modeling agency. Oh, okay. So Sarah, she has her hands on a lot of good sources. Right. Well, for the third time, I'm going to try to wrap this up so some of you people can uh, take a break. Um, Eddie, you want to finish it up for us? You know, I just want to say, Dennis, thank you for coming out and doing this uh we're going to be doing a eddie and denny show Dennis oh yeah gonna be right. covering. he's going to be hosting his own news i'm show. not always drunk folks <laughs> <laughs> he's referring to the if you go to him and i news.com go on our facebook page and search for man down at el Zarapi. it's a skit everybody thought this guy was a drunk but then when you watch the whole video you see it was a skit it was a funny thing yeah Good way to promote El Zarapi and it well, worked. Well, you know? we used to read the newspaper together, the Chronicle. We might do that again, Ex too. Well, there's I no Chronicle no more, but, you well, know. Well, there's another Chronicle. We have the Hemet San Jacinto Chronicle. Well, we got the Hemet San Jacinto Chronicle. And I try to get through the news and read it seriously. And you ought to see what he does to my efforts. <laughs> it's disgusting. We're not going to go there. <laughs> but anyways, to wrap this up, I want to say thank you for all the support from everybody. I hope this is going to be something new that I can provide the community as you know a base station to bring you entertainment uh, bring you information and be able to network all of our Facebook groups public safety incidents him at crime society uh, we got Tina Rebus that runs that she does an awesome job getting out there and getting the stories uh, I would add her on the show too but Tina, she's the type of, she only has the radio voice. She stays behind the camera, not in front of the camera. Well, that's, so. that's great. We'll have her for that. But she yeah. does a good job. You know, people, you know, you want to check out her groups. Uh, definitely, you know, him at Crime Society. She's got a like page and a Facebook group page. Join the pa group and like the page. And then we got Public Safety Incidents. Uh, you guys have got a like page too, right? You got a group and a like page. You got a group and a like page. I've been posting stuff that's on the group page. It, just the group page. We don't have we don't have, we don't have a like page yet. Okay. So you guys have Hemet uh, he Hemet Community News. Yeah, Hemet Community News. It's a group page, and you got Hem our uh, public safety. Answer. Public That's safety. Answer. And there's one more. I off. The, I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll stick it in there. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Find, it we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it and stick it yeah. in there. And then, of course, John has uh, Ian Media, right. Southern California News Source. Ian Media News, uh, Southern California News. Or just uh, look up Ian Media Productions on Facebook. Also, www.enmediaproductions.com, edwardnoramediaproductions.com. To uh, go to all my websites, and also links to uh, Hemet News. Our stuff is linked together. And, yeah, it's uh, taking a while to get to this now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And we'll see to make something uh, look good for the community that... Uh, Eventually. And I also want to give a shout out to Alex Cruz as well. Alex Cruz uh, runs the uh, Inland Empire News, I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Inland, uh, Alex does a great Inland Empire job. News. Sir. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And then we got IE News or IE News you get the uh, right one. Radio uh, with uh, Roy Blackert. Uh, okay. Uh, Roy Blackert. A lot of people. We're offering him time in our studio. Roy does uh, a show every day. Does a really good, uh, great job. So it's. This is a place for everybody to come together and 
put everything out to the public. So, so we're going to be putting another report out like this in a little while, Eddie, so they can give the folks an update maybe well, next week. Well, not a little while, probably next week, because I'm yeah. going to go home and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll attack yeah. them. Unless so we'll, 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 you want it from me after a while, I mean, I'll be still up and running around like a donkey, or like a vampire. Yeah, yeah, I would too, but you know, I've been at the studio for like three days straight, no sleep or air conditioner, went at home, I went out at the house, and <laughs> it's like, you know what, it's cooler at least it is catch on fire. Yeah. than it is at the house, so I like spending as much time here at the studio <laughs> as I can, you know, so. Uh, I'll give you the morning rant? No, well, maybe I'll, I'll think about that. Yeah, Let's John's going to, we're going to put John in the corner over here, and he's going to yeah. do his rant. Yeah. But uh, that's about all I got to say, folks. I want to say thank you for all your community support and uh, make sure you can follow us as well on YouTube. You can go to uh, YouTube and search for Him and I News or you can just type in the crazy guy with a lazy and it'll take you to our YouTube channel or you can just go to him and I News .com, and it takes you to our Facebook. Well, YouTube platform. doing in media productions on YouTube will take you also to uh, Him and News. Both channels we are on that way. And you can go on YouTube to Public Safety Incidents and we have our videos there also. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. This is Dennis and Eddie and John and Nick saying so long for now. Adios. Later. to you live.